Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 9 of the Autodesk Maya tutorial series. So today we're going to uh, look at the tools that we learned in the previous uh, loft and planar settings uh, in the nerves to model something like a table. So let's try out this exercise. All right, so let me uh, design a dining table with the wine glasses and everything else. So as before, I'm going to drag this um, curved surfaces. So let me just go on to the side as always and then draw a wine glass. All right, so on the side, I just draw a wine glass as usual. All right, I can make a changes later. So let me just do that later on. All right, I'm done with this one. Let's just revolve this out. So since I'm already on my Y axis, I want to revolve this out. So let's go to uh, surfaces, revolve, there's a revolve right there. So it's on y, y axis, revolve this out. All right, there you go. And if you see black, somehow just make sure that you turn on the two sided lighting that it is on. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to reshape this. So I'm going to move this to a side a bit. All right, then reshape this out just like this. Reshape this out. And I'm going to reshape this out as well. Just like that. Reshape this out. Okay. And reshape this out. Okay, there you go. Resave this out. Resave this out. And resave this out. Just like that. All right. So I got a very, very simple wine glass out here. Okay. There you go. Pull this out a bit. Okay. And pull this out a bit. Just trying to be a bit perfect, right? Okay. Pull this out, down, or up, maybe, right? Okay. There you go. So maybe this wine glass is too long for my taste. I can uh, actually reduce the size as well. All right, so this is what I want. All right, so I'm gonna uh, delete all the history right there. So I'm gonna go over here to edit, delete all by type and history so that there's no more link to this. So I can create, I got my wine glass right here. Okay, let's keep this aside for a while. So I want to create the table now. So for the table, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab uh, my tool right here. So uh, from the top view itself, I want to grab a table. I want to make a table. So let's uh, click on the four side. Click, click, click. Okay, it's too curvy. So I'm going to click on this side, this side, this, this. Okay, so that is not working out. Click here, click here. I want this to curve out a bit. Okay, so curve type of table. All right, so that is going to work out a bit. I might want to add in more points if the curve is not working out well. All right, so I'm gonna add in some more points just like that. Uh, add the curve. And then I wanna close off the curve right here. All right, so press enter. And now I want to open and close the curve. So just uh, close the curve point. So just go for uh, shift right click and open and close curves. All right, there you go. So I got my basic uh, table just like that. So I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate this out, uh, pull this out a bit, increase the size of this, press Shift D and decrease the size of this. All right, there you go. So this is my, my basic shape for the table. So I'm going to select this in order and then I'm going to loaf this out. So just go to uh, surfaces and loaf this out just like that. All right, so loaf this out and then uh, load this on the top just like this. All right. So well uh, What I want to do right now is uh, I'm gonna drag this uh, Grab dra mm, uh, I'm gonna select the top part Okay of the option of the curve right here And I'm gonna use planar to fill that out and I want to fill out the bottom part as well So go to the bottom part just like this and then plane out. Okay bottom part this right here bottom part over here uh, and then fill this out as well. Wait, I'm going to grab this one. So it's kind of like tricky to select it sometimes. So select the bottom. Yes, there you go. And then uh, planar this out. All right. So I'm going to uh, use my delete history tool again. So go for edit, delete all by type and history so that I don't have any more errors. All right, there you go. I got my table right there. So grab this to the top. All right, now I want my feet for the table. All right, and maybe some rack as well. I want to keep the uh, glass at the top over here. So keep the glass at the top. Maybe I don't want any further designs. Go to the top view. Let, let me see. Okay, so glass is on the right spot. Just drag this down just like this. 
and there you go okay drag this to the top just like this all right so press shift d uh, duplicate out the glasses maybe the glasses are too big for my taste so delete out the glasses and then uh, decrease the size of this so decrease the size of this uh, drag this to the top just like this press f drag this to the top all right there you go okay just place it on the side press shift d and duplicate the glasses all right those are too close together so press shift d drag this out to the side and put it on like that all right so i got all my wine glasses so let me just select all of these wine glasses again duplicate that out so press shift d drag it to the side and there you go okay so i got my wine glasses on top of the table let me just drag this onto the side so let's drag this onto the side from the top as well drag this onto the bottom just like that all right there you go so now what i want to do is i want to create the legs so i want to create the legs by using this surface right here all right so let's grab the circular surfaces and i want to go for the wireframe mode so that i can see the bottom and then i want to leg legs to start up right here all right so drag it to the side i want to go for my control vertices i want to go for control vertices but for my object right here the circle not the uh, plane object at the top so let's just select the circle control vertices go to the top again press f uh, select this one select the four corners basically to give it a square like shape all right so i want my uh, legs to be square like shape just like that all right there you go so then go for object mode press shift d and i want to loaf this out just like this so loaf this out all right uh right here on this section just like that and then uh increase press shift d and loaf out the bottom maybe uh, increase the size of this a bit all right so press shift d shift d uh just like this press object click this click this uh click okay hold it let's zoom this in a bit so that it's easier for me to click it so zoom this in click this and click this and then loft it out so just go for surfaces and loft okay there you go there's my uh feet off the uh table so just go over here on the top part and then pull this out okay so just pull this out until it actually touches the table all right so i'm gonna press shift d duplicate this out all right press shift d uh select hold select both of the legs press shift d drag this to the side over here drag this to the side so that i got my four feet of table right here all right so now i got my basic table ready with my uh loft uh, and planar settings over here so as you can see that we used all of the settings that we learned so maybe i just want to color this out as well so on the top part let's say i want to assign new material to this and let me go for blend which is a shiny material of course so i'm going to choose a bit of glassy like texture for this so maybe something like this all right and then for this i'm going to choose a wood like texture so let me just choose blend and let me just reduce the diffuse size maybe and diffuse the uh it uh, maybe like i want to attain some specular color and so forth over here just decrease the specular color and then choose a wood like uh, wood like uh, color over here i'm going to use the same blend over here so this is blend two let me just rename this to wood and in this way what i can do is i can select this right click assign existing material and i can just choose wood and so this is how i can apply colors onto my glasses so for my wine glasses i'm going to assign new material again just go for maya go to blend so it is shiny so maybe i want to decrease the uh eccentricity that's how you pronounce it i guess so specular roll off increase the size so that it's more shiny specular color uh is okay i want it to be more white so i want to be very specular and for color i want it to be a dark bluish type of color just like this and then i want to increase the transparency of it as well so that i get a transparent like effect just like a glass so you can see that it is beautiful right off the bat just like this so this is just in the maya view and you might be wondering that the uh, lesson still now don't look that good actually so in like in 3d animation studios so that is because we have not actually 
uh, rendered this out yet. So uh, rendering out the lessons, rendering out will be there in the further lessons. So uh, let's not worry about that. So anyway, so what I want to do is maybe I want to delete the history of this. Uh, maybe uh, go to create. Let me just go for uh, edit, delete all by type and history. All right, there you go. So let me just select this out, press shift D. I can create a duplicate out of this as well. Uh, I want to select the whole part of this, press shift D, duplicate this out. And you can see I can actually uh, like resize this as well. Uh, so it's not resizing proportionately. So just press Control Z and go for send a pivot. So just go for uh, edit. Wait, let's just go for modify and send a pivot. So if I were to do this, you can see that it actually uh, now uh, changes according to what I did. So I just wanted to create a bench like shapes. All right. So press Control Z again and then resize this. All right. There you go. So I want these benches to be aligned just like this at the bottom. So let's just go to the side view and then keep it at the bottom just like this. All right. So let's say I want to create a bench like thing. Press shift D and shift D. All right. There you go. Four benches onto the table. Let's go to the side just like that from the top view. Go to the side just like this. Press shift D and drag it to the side as well. All right, there you go. So perfect for the dining. There's too much wine glasses over there. But anyways, it looks awesome. So if you want to create a restaurant like effects, just copy and paste this out. All right, there you go. And there you go. We got a whole range of uh, bar like situation going on right here. And you can see that my computer is starting to hang a bit because there are a lot of uh, models right here. So but anyways, uh, it, they only hang if you select them all together all at once. So you can see that you can create beautiful models just by using the nerves object right here. And hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.